So um, today I've been at this meeting at work and it was quite nice to meet my colleagues again after being away for all this time but you know I, can't, I won't work until the end of next week so but anyway it was good to be at a meeting uh, and I got uh, some things clarified and some things get even more weird about my job but uh, uh, the union represent are helping me with this so I hope it's gonna work out fine um, also uh, I think uh, if you're interested in um, culture overall you probably heard about the Nobel Prize in literature today that it was uh, acknowledged and it was um, Bob Dylan who received it and I, I'm really really thrilled about this I'm really happy about it uh, Bob Dylan is an uh, absolutely great artist uh, I'm, I guess I'm too young to be you know, his greatest fan base but it, it's an artist I've grown up with and also his lyrics, something I've grown up with uh, my parents had uh, several of his uh, books um, and um, I've read quite a few of them when I was little so uh, I've seen his you know, poetry side of him all the time and uh, naturally his lyrics are also part of his um, uh, artwork and, and I think it's really nice then uh, those, um, I don't know, art no knower or whatever you call, call these people so it should be extremely into culture and everything it's like, I don't know, more sophisticated culture if you can put it like that or believe that, but I uh, think they are uh, are acknowledged as an artist uh, from a modern culture like that and somebody who is our um, easy to understand for everyone. Like often the Nobel Prize title in literature are some kind of poet from some place you've never heard of writing very very strange poetry that nobody understands and just you know was a bunch of hardcore fans all dressed in black something 75, 80 years old sitting with a mm, yeah Mm. or listen to it and still don't have any idea what it's all about but they're supposed to know what it's all about so yeah there are a few other very few exceptions or quite a few exceptions but I think lately uh, was uh, yeah not so read friendly uh, writers has been um, the winners in most of the times we have some uh, less, like Lessinger for example she stands out as you know more popular or more um, yeah it's easily read it the person is more um, I don't know words for in English as you can tell but uh, somebody is connected with people on another level that uh, most people could read and enjoy her literature and so on yeah, I think she was an important person also calling her um, but that was quite a long time ago, and Hemingway, of course, but so on. But it was lately I haven't been, you know, it's really good ones. And now I think Bob Dylan is a really good choice, and also show that um, this um, pop culture could also be uh, counted as like real culture. Uh, if you know something about me, you know that I'm into research too. I've done some works uh, about uh, the German band Tokyo Hotel and the fan base. And uh, yeah, I know to me those questions are important that you acknowledge even the pop culture um, as real culture or fine culture, whatever you would like to call it, um, and that you don't look down at some people because uh, they like a certain culture or are into a certain music style or so, and it shouldn't be more. Uh, it should, it's not more important to be interested in painters from the late 1700s uh, than it should be to be interested in the fan culture around the football team, the soccer team. It's it should be have the same value to people. I, I don't can see I can't see why you can say that one thing is more um, finer or more cultivated or so on to interested in and um, yeah I think therefore I think both of them was a really great choice uh, so yeah I'm happy about it um, and 
I still haven't used some of the complete that's sort of like makeup now, just to sort of check around the things. But uh, I still haven't tried this one on. I was thinking I was going to do that when I go to work. And when I was thinking I was going to do this video, and I wanted to do this video first. And this is a really, really stupid reason. Um, simply because um, it was this person I used to talk to a lot about and talk a lot about makeup. And uh, I don't want to see me with makeup. And this kind of makeup, not things that matters to me. Because it's personal in some way. And there are chance that you're watching these videos. And if it does, I. I feel vulnerable, vulnerable in a way, and um, it's hard to describe, but some things are, yeah, we was extremely private with each other, but, and I ex exposed myself very much to him in many ways, and later on I find out that he'd been lying to me, like, I mean, if you showed the catfish show on TV, that's nothing compared to his kind of lies he pulled on me, and um, some of them I knew was lies all the time, and accepted that, but some was just using me and I feel really bad about it. And when I talk about things which I know was real, when enemies was honest, like this with makeup and so on, that something is really important to him and something supported me also. I don't want him. I don't want to risk him to see it. I mean, it's a, it's a way of keeping some kind of dignity, I don't know. Describe it. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Ril has a lot of problem with her asthma tonight, and I have to inhale several times, and I can hear that Saga is, uh, that's my next tool, just going back and forth here and um, helping her, but that's okay. Uh, everything's under control, and uh, Saga actually volunteered to help her out. Uh, she has the same, um, uh, Ril has the same, um, issue as her, uh, as her uh, older sibling um, with Vespa and um, I think it's something that makes them connect a little bit. Uh, something my kid doesn't have in common is the uh, ability to cook. My oldest is an excellent cook and she bakes those absolutely gorgeous cakes. My next to oldest don't want to cook and is the lousy cook and can't follow a recipe. And right now there's a mess in the kitchen. It's called chocolate cake, but you could see already when it wasn't in the oven that this won't work out. And uh, I absolutely no idea if they do it. I mean, how can you... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's something so simple and uh, I'm good at cooking and my mom's good at cooking, my sister's good at cooking, everybody's good at cooking, except this child. I know it's like a black sheep of the cooking family. So I'm gonna go out there and save what's left of that cake and whip. Maybe if you throw a lot of ice cream on it or something or whipped cream or something you could eat it. <laughs> so yeah.